Hey dolls! Today I'm just gonna talk to you 100% flat out honest about sponsorships because I feel like a lot of the time people are against sponsorships for the fact that they don't know everything that it entails or that it consists of and they just automatically assume oh that youtuber is getting paid to say the words that are coming out of their mouth how do i know if i can believe them or not and that's understandable some youtubers or some instagrammers or some bloggers will take on sponsorships and they are told exactly what to say and they are paid to say those words but i'm gonna put a full huge 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 disclosure disclaimer every single time i have done a sponsorship every single time 100 percent every single time i have been 1000 percent honest and i have never been paid to say specific words a brand may give you a little pdf file that has a list of things that they would like you to say or that are along the same lines that they would like you to say but you are allowed to put everything into your own words and create your own honest opinion on things however it really all depends on the brand some brands like certain things some brands don't and some are a lot more strict than others so there is no set exact way a sponsorship works with every single brand it's all of the same oftentimes it is different sometimes there's contracts involved sometimes there's not uh but with that being said i'm gonna go ahead and get on into it and just i'm gonna explain kind of in depth what sponsorships are what's the difference between them and unpaid collaborations or cooperations how to get your own sponsorships or what you can do to go about getting a paid sponsorship and then I will also touch base on payment, how you are paid, how much you are paid possibly. And I asked you guys to ask me your questions under one of my photos on Instagram as well as Twitter. So I will be answering some of those questions at the end as well. So stay tuned for those. But basically, what is a sponsorship? On my YouTube videos, I will always put a disclaimer in the description box whether a product was sent to me for review, whether it is sponsored, or whether it is not sponsored, not paid, not promoted, they didn't send it to me, I bought it with my own money, etc. So you'll always see those three disclaimers in my description. A lot of people feel or think that if a company just sends me a product, they're also paying me to talk about it on my channel, but that's not the case. That is not the case at all whatsoever. And I want you guys to kind of pay attention to my videos on my channel. You will see them kind of go up and down to things that are sponsored, things that are not sponsored, etc. But a sponsorship is when you are receiving payment from a brand or company in order to promote or review their product on your platform, whether it be blog, Instagram, whatever. They want you to feature their product on your channel and they are willing to pay you for you to show it to your audience. Now, however, like 90% of the clothing videos that I've done, like the fashion hauls and stuff, uh, like AMI Clubwear, Dresslink, those companies have never paid me a single penny to talk about their brand at all whatsoever. They just get on there and they say, hey, pick out some items. Let us know what items you'd like to review. Let us know what items you'd like to try on and feature in a video. They let me have my own pick of what items I want to be sent. They send them to me and I review them at no charge to them so an example of a sponsorship would be one you guys have seen a thousand times promoted on various different channels including my own is best fiends the mobile gaming app so this is just an example of one so basically if you are promoting an app such as best fiends on your channel this video at all no way by any means is sponsored by any of the companies that are mentioned within this video this is 100 percent just me i'm not gonna pay to, to talk about this but anyway for example say you are a youtuber and you have a hundred thousand subscribers okay the the person who is in charge of the marketing and networking and all of that information and data and all that fun stuff they are the ones to message you and say hey we like your channel we like your content we would be interested in working with you in promoting our app 
could you email us back with your rates? In lamer terms, when it comes to sponsorships, rate means how much do you charge? How much do you charge for an Instagram post? How much do you charge for a sponsorship? How much do you charge for a Snapchat story? How much do you charge for a product review? How much do you charge for a mention in your favorites video? There are several different rates that a YouTuber or social media platformer <laughs> can charge. And for me, I have a file that I made that has all of my listed rates from Snapchat stories to Instagram posts to Instagram stories to all of my platforms together, like a full on charge for a post on all of the platforms and everything. And a lot of the times, if it's your first time working with a brand or with a company, they will be a little bit hesitant to pay that price for your content because a lot of you guys have been asking me questions about well how do you know if a brand is trustworthy how do you know if the company's trustworthy how do you know they're legit companies ask youtubers the exact same question how do we know you're legit how do we know you're not gonna screw us over after you get the product and just not make the video how do we know this so it really goes both ways what I like to do when I do my sponsorships is I'll just I'll flat out tell you guys right now so nine times out of ten a company or brand will email me and say hey we like your page we would like you to feature our product they'll send me their website link I'll check it out I'll look into it I'll see if there's something that number one I would sincerely be interested in trying. If it's something completely random that I cannot feature on my channel at all whatsoever, I just immediately archive the email because I'm not gonna feature that on my channel. Like there's no point. There's really no point if I can't genuinely, if I don't genuinely have the want to try it out myself, there's really no point for me even trying it because if it's something completely random that I would never have an interest in trying, more than likely my audience isn't going to be interested in trying it either. So once the company has emailed me and said, hey, we like your channel, we want you to promote our stuff, blah, 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 then I send them my rates. And like I said, if it's my first time working with them, I'll give them some sort of a discount or tell them, you know, we don't have to work at this full price because I want them to believe that I am trustworthy. I will, sometimes brands don't really request it, but when they do, they want you to send them, um, like proof that you've done videos for other companies and they want to see that and believe it or not companies talk back and forth with each other when it comes to using youtubers as promoters and advertisers for their brands if you put in a bad word or bad name for yourself to one brand that brand is going to be a recommendation for you for another brand in the future and if you ain't on good terms with that brand or that company they can put in a bad name for you and you may lose some opportunities in the future. So once we have just emailed it back and forth and we've agreed on a rate and everything like that uh, I will either pick out my product if they want me to choose something from their site, whether it be clothing or makeup or what have you, and I'll pick the things out that I want. They will send it to me in the mail, and I'll get into this in a second, but sometimes there's contracts and sometimes there's not, which I mentioned before. But they'll send it to me in the mail, and sometimes I'll request, like if it's a product that I really need to test out first, like if it's a skincare product or like a teeth whitening product or something like that, I like to try it out for a considerable lengthy amount of time before I proceed making a video. So what I'll do is I'll request, may I please take 30 days to try out this product legitimately and then go from there. And they'll say, oh yeah, sure, you can, you can try it risk-free, no questions asked, try it out if you like it then we'll proceed. If not, that's fine too. Um, like I said, some companies are a lot more strict about that than others, but for the most part, they're very reasonable. Like if you don't like the product, they'd rather you talk to the company directly via email and send the product back or just let you keep it free of charge for any inconveniences or anything like that because nine times out of ten the company would much rather you like I said talk to them face to face rather than spew negative comments about them all over social media for hundreds of thousands of potentially millions obviously I don't have millions of subscribers or viewers but 
for, in some cases for channels that do have a larger following, uh, they would much rather have you talk to them face to face, explain why you don't like it, explain why you don't want to talk about it on your channel, etc., rather than have you get on there without their knowledge, just spewing all of this negativity about their product and their brand. And that is where contracts come into play. Some brands will flat out have it in contract saying, hey, you're not allowed to say anything negative about our brand. And if you do, you are liable and we can take you to court and da -da 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 if you go against the contract. That's why if you do sponsorships yourself or anything like that, even if they're, even if you're not doing sponsorships, even if this is just in general, if there is a contract involved please read it over thoroughly word for word because sometimes you might skip over something and then instantly regret it because you're the one who messed it up and then you're at fault and it becomes this huge thing i am not speaking about this from experience but i have heard horror stories from other people it is not fun so whenever there's a contract involved in your life do not take it lightly spend some time if it's a seven page contract which i have had several times read through every single sentence every single word and if there's something you don't understand ask them say can you clarify this line for me can you clarify what it means by da -da 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 -da? can you make this so i can understand it a little bit better can you further explain this blah 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 you know you get the whole gist of this but that's just that's not even just sponsorships that's just life life lessons in general. Thoroughly read a contract before committing to anything. But when I do a sponsorship, like I said, I like to have a lengthy amount of time to test it out if it's something that needs to be tested out or it's if it's something that you're supposed to see results within X amount of days of usage. I like to use it for that X amount of days or longer so I can get a true idea of what the results are. And then I will message the company back and say, yes, I would like to proceed or no, I would not like to proceed. And yes, I have felt negatively about products before and I have messaged the company and said, I do not feel confident about sharing this on my channel and I apologize for any conveniences, but this is not me. This is not, it, it doesn't work for me. I don't like it, etc. And like I said, the brands that I have worked with that have done that will say, oh, well, feel free to keep the product on us. We apologize for you not liking it. Thank you so much for your time. And then usually they just cut off communication. They take me off their email lists and everything like that. And I just close off working with them, period. But when I do like the product, I will email them and say, hey, I love the product. Uh, you can expect the video to be up at this time or I'm gonna get to the video on this day, da da da. Just give them kind of a rough estimate of when they can expect me to email them back so they're not just kind of left hanging in the dark of, uh, is this girl legit? Is she gonna provide a video for us like she said or is she just gonna blow us off? Because if you are a creator and you are being involved with sponsorships the last thing you want to do is be a flake please do not be a flake please 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 don't that just irritates companies and like i said they talk to each other and if you are in bad with one chances are they can talk with another one and yeah it's gonna be bad later on so like i said i'll email them i'll say i like it i love it i'm gonna make a video about it this day da -da 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 -da. and what i will do is i will upload my video as an unlisted video, meaning only the people who have the direct link to that video can watch it. So it's private, but it's public to those who have the link. So I submit it for approval for the brand. I say, hey, I just posted the video unlisted. Would you like to look it over? Usually I will allow one video re-edit. So if there's something that I left out accidentally or if there's something that I need to tweak or forgot to mention or if it's like a really important information. Like for example, if a company messages me and says, oh, by the way, we're having a 50% off sale 
through this date and I forget to say that completely and totally in the video they'll ask me hey could you please re-edit this and put like a verbal or text overlay doesn't matter what could you please re-edit this so it's on the screen somewhere or you know audio somewhere and so I'll allow that one re-edit and then I'll resubmit the new video so mind you this takes work because one video can take a youtuber like depending it could take like eight to ten hours to produce so you're already putting in all of this effort to make this video and then you have to go back in and potentially refilm portions of it and then re-piece it together in your editor and then wait for it to render and export again for another hour and a half and then you have to re-upload you have to rewrite out your description you have to redo all of your video tags and it's just a huge mess sometimes and there was one instance where it was a mess. The company wanted me to re-edit my video four times. And even after the fourth time, it still wasn't good enough. So I just cut off. I will never, ever, 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 ever work with that company again because it was just a huge mess. And the communication boundary there was not good. Like they did not have good communication skills and it was a huge disaster. They didn't tell me the information that I needed to say in the beginning of the video or anything like that. And then they were so critical about what I left out, but yet I didn't know I was supposed to say that. And you guys, there was even a contract involved with bullet points of what information needed to be stated within the video. And I did all of it and they wanted it redone four times. You guys, by the end of that whole shenanigans, be, at the end of everything, I had spent well over 76 hours on one video. And I will never work with that company again because I did not get paid enough for what I worked on that video, just point blank. But anyway, I will submit the video for approval. If it's approved, they send me a payment via PayPal and once I receive the payment, the video is published. And there has only been one sponsorship that I have done in the entirety of my channel where the company did not allow me to monetize my videos. Now, if you are kind of new to YouTube and you don't know about YouTube, YouTubers get paid to just make videos in general by Google, by YouTube, by just that in general because if you guys watch videos that have ads rolling on the beginning of them or throughout them or at the end of them etc if you are viewing or clicking on those ads you are supporting and helping pay that youtuber because these ads are paying YouTube or paying Google to roll their ads on specific content and if your video is being viewed and you have monetized your video, meaning you have ad rolls on your videos, like it's capable of earning you money by ad rolls, um, then you are getting paid for people watching the ads and clicking on the ads. And that's why I stress so much, if you are someone who watches YouTubers, no matter how big they are or how infamous they are, it doesn't matter uh, whether it's my videos, whether it's, um, you know, PewDiePie's videos, it does not matter. Nine times out of 10, the creators are relying on their income from their videos to produce more videos for their channel, for you guys. So just take a couple seconds, turn your ad blocker off when you're watching YouTube videos, support your creators that you really do actually support. And the best part about it is you are watching free content, 100% free content. But us as creators, we have to pay for our camera, our camera batteries, our lights, our filming equipment, our stuff that we're making a video on. For example, if I go to Dollar Tree and I spend 50 bucks at Dollar Tree and I come home and do a Dollar Tree haul, that $50, you know where it came from? It came from you guys. You are putting in the effort to create more videos for you to watch on my channel. And guess what? You don't physically have to pay a single penny. All you have to do is either click on the ad or watch the ad all the way through, or you can even skip it. I don't care. As long as the ad is viewable for a couple of seconds, um, you are getting paid. But I will let you guys in on a little secret. Whether you skip the ad 
whether you let the ad play all the way through and whether or not you click on an ad all three of those have different amounts of money that you are giving the YouTuber. So if you skip the ad, that's the least amount of money that that creator is making. If you watch the ad all the way through, that's a cool, that's a cool thing to do because they're getting a little bit more extra money. It's only a 30 second ad, maybe 10 seconds, maybe 15. Just watch it all the way through at the beginning and hey, you're helping out and supporting a creator. And better yet, if you click on that ad, like if there's like a little click here to learn more or something like that on the little sidebar, that gives us like double or triple the money that it would if you would have skipped the ad. Like, it's crazy. But anyway, some brands when you are doing sponsorships require that you disable monetization, meaning you are not allowed to make money from YouTube or Google because you're making enough money from a brand. I did that with one sponsorship and that was about it. The other ones don't really care. They figure you're putting in the time and effort to make this video and it's already on your platform. Uh, you might as well just monetize it. Not a big deal. So if you are at all concerned about my video being sponsored or not, number one, it's my channel and you shouldn't be because I have been 1000% honest from day one on my channel. There have been times where, yeah, like I said, I don't like a product and I say something negative about it in a video and I submit the video for approval and the company messages me back and you know what they say? Please will you re-edit this video and take out the negative comments? Okay, we're cutting off working together immediately because I am not going to lie. I will never, ever, ever, ever lie on my channel flat out just to make a couple bucks, okay? Like, that is not who I am. Please do not put those words in your head. Please do not assume things because while other YouTubers, I will remain them nameless because I am not here to start drama, but there have been countless YouTubers who will commit to sponsorships and review products and say positive things, nothing but positive things just to get money. And these are like people with large followings too. These are people who can make like a thousand bucks from one sponsorship video and they're just going to get on there and willy nilly just say, oh yeah, I love this product so much. You know what I'll do? I'll go out and I'll buy the product because, oh, so-and-so said it was good. It must be good, right? So I'll go out and I'll get the product and I'll try it on myself and I'm like, girl, what? <laughs> but you also have to keep in mind that when it comes to skincare, makeup, hair products, anything like that, please keep in mind, please, 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 please keep in mind that results will vary from person to person. Everyone has a different hair texture. Everyone has a different hair color. Everyone has a different complexion. Everyone has a different skin type. You, yourself, your body are going to react to products differently. And I think a lot of people don't necessarily take that into consideration, especially if they are someone who is just now starting out, you know, curling their hair for the first time and they want the best curling wand and they have hair like me, but they go out and buy a a flat iron that can go up to like 600 degrees and then they put it on the 600 degrees because another youtuber did that and it didn't hurt her hair and then they fry their hair off please don't ever 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 use a flat iron or curling wand at 600 degrees like my heart already stops when you're like at 4 450 like please don't ever do that that is just an example of what could happen just because someone else says something is great doesn't necessarily mean that it'll work for you and that's the same with my channel i always say and i always stress on my channel this works great i love it it's awesome for me do you want to try it out? Do you want to see if it's good? Try it out. Buy it yourself. Test it out. See if it works for you. And if not, nine times out of ten, most of the companies that I work with have return and exchange policies. So if you don't like it, send it back. If it's just clothing or like a physical item in your hand, like an accessory or a handbag or shoes or whatever, like that is like an overall, yeah, this quality is great or no, this quality kind of sucks. Like for example, the AMI Clubwear hat that I got in the mail, uh, 
yeah, it came horribly damaged and I didn't lie to you guys about that. I could have easily said, oh, this hat's beautiful, it's great, it's 100% perfect condition. No, I filmed a little video clip before I fixed it letting you guys know, hey, this thing sucks, don't buy it. Okay, so I know this video is crazily long, but I just wanted to make a full, in-depth, detailed video about sponsorships because I have been getting so, so much, so much hate. I'm gonna put hate in parentheses because sometimes I will take it with a grain of salt. You know what I mean? Like, I, I read hate comments every single day. But sometimes I get ones that are like, oh my gosh, I'm unsubscribing. You do way too many sponsorships. Um, like I said, check the little disclaimer. Uh, there's a difference between sponsorships and unpaid product reviews or product promo. Um, just because I'm talking about something that a company sent me for free, with my honest to goodness true opinion, like my little print pocket printer, instant camera printer thing, they sent me that 100% free and they wanted me to give my honest review about it. There was no contract involved. There was no payment involved. They just said, hey, if you like it, make a video. If you don't, whoop de do. And so I liked it. I made a video about my review. I, there were things I didn't like about it. There were things I did like about it. And it was 100% honest. And yet under that video, there were comments saying, all you do is sponsors now. I'm leaving. Okay. Bye. But number two is I'm making these sponsors not only to help myself but to help you guys because maybe it's something that I've wanted to try out myself for quite a while and didn't know how to go about trying it out. And number two, I'm letting you guys know is it good? Is it really the hype that people say? Etc. Like I, I wanna I wanna do these types of videos. I've been doing reviews on my channel since I was like at a thousand subscribers. Like me doing product reviews like promotions without being paid. I have been doing those since the dawn of time, even when it was all the way back when it was just Etsy shops. Like, do you guys remember that? Have you been around that long? Like I have a whole playlist of Etsy shop reviews and all of those products from all of those Etsy shops were sent to me free of charge. All I had to do was give my honest review and I wasn't being paid a single penny to talk about it, but I was basically saying, hey, is it a good investment for you? Will you guys like it? Here's the pros, here's the cons, do with it as you will. And a sponsorship for me is the exact same thing. They're sending me a product, I'm testing it out, I'm seeing if I like it, I'm giving my honest opinion, except with this, they're giving me a payment. And I'll just be flat out like upright with you guys. I think the cheapest amount I've ever been paid for a sponsorship was $50. And that was back when I first started. And I think, I don't know, I got on platforms like FameBit and Redfluence once I had about 5,000 subscribers. And you can use those as a place to find sponsorships. They're not gonna look twice at you if you only have like 100 subscribers. It's just, it sucks, but it's fact. They are paying you, for example, okay? If you just spent hours and hours and hours making a dress, Okay, you made this beautiful dress and you wanted someone to model it for you. And you you get you give it to one of your friends and you say, hey, can you model this and advertise it for me? I'll, I'll pay you $100. Will you please advertise this for me? And they advertise it on their Instagram account that has 50 followers. Is that worth your 100 bucks? It wouldn't be worth mine. <laughs> I'm gonna pay someone to promote my things that has a large following because that's more eyes that are seeing it. It's just like a billboard. You guys see billboards, you guys see banners, you guys see flyers. You're going to pay someone to advertise your business on a billboard. Why? Because hundreds of thousands of millions, potentially people are going to see that with their eyes. You, your business is being promoted to a mass amount of people. Are you going to pay a lot of money to have your business promoted on the bottoms of shoes? Like, is anyone going to see that? Like, maybe one one hundredth of the people who would see a billboard are looking at bottoms of shoes. You know what I mean? Like, it makes sense. It makes sense that companies are reaching out to people who have a larger following. And I'm sorry if I'm coming off a little sassy in this video, but 
I'm honest. Okay, let's get on into a few of these questions. I hope I answered quite a huge lump sum of them. Uh, let's see. Do you usually get free stuff from them? Yes. Every single time I've done a sponsorship, ones that I have accepted, I did not have to pay for the product at all. When did you get your first sponsorship and what was your subscriber count? Uh, I think my first sponsorship, I honestly don't remember what it was. It was like five years ago. Um, I think I was out around a thousand when I got my first paid sponsorship. Who would be your dream to partner with for a sponsored video in the future? I would love to work with a makeup brand. It is my dream to like collaborate and do something with ColourPop and not necessarily like feature their products on my channel and get paid to talk about it, but to collaborate with them in creating my own shades and stuff like that. I don't know if that's considered sponsored. That's more of like brand ambassador and collaboration type thing, but I love ColourPop. I wanted to work with them for a while and I even applied to be their next collaboration and wah wah. I haven't heard anything yet, but I, I can't, I can't just go cry in the corner. I gotta keep trying. Gotta keep trying. <laughs> okay, here is one that is very, 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 very important that I have answered numerous times, but it says, have you ever had to lie about a product for a sponsorship? No. And yes. Okay. Yes, I've had to lie, but do I go through with it? No. Um, there are companies that say, you have to say this exactly. And I say, because of that, I'm out. Bye. Go away. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Leave me alone. I'm not going to lie to people. So yes, I have had to lie, but I do not go through with it if that answers the question. Do you still get paid even if the review is bad? Uh, yes. I would say I haven't really done a bad review though, but like I said, if the company, I usually go to the company first and if I'll ask them, you know, I don't really like this about the product. Is this going to be an issue? And if you guys haven't seen the video on my channel, then more than likely I cut off working with them because they're not going to pay me for something that was never put up or never made public or never actually advertised. So like I said, I'll just draw it to their attention, ask them if it's okay. If not, then we just cut off, the contract is voided, just things like that. I've always been curious about how much YouTubers actually get from sponsorships. Is it like 50 bucks, 500 bucks, 5,000 bucks? Are they even allowed to talk about this? It's all a mystery. Um, I have not been sworn to contract anywhere that says I am not allowed to disclose what I've made from certain sponsorships. Um, I'm not going to disclose what brands they were, but my, my lowest amount that I have ever been paid was $50 for a sponsorship. And the highest I have ever been paid was $900 for a sponsorship. And that was just the one video, one time, one post type thing. Um, I've been paid numerous times by a couple brands from promoting them, you know, numerous times. Um, but there was once a company... There, there, okay, also, also, how do you know if the brand is legit or not? Um, basically, you really don't know until you get paid. And that's why I always require that I receive payment before making the video public. Because then I know that they're legit for paying me. And then in return, I'm giving them what they need, provided it was approved, and I can just post it. So any advice to anybody who is going to think about getting into sponsorships, always require your payment before you public something. Even if you're just submitting an Instagram post and caption for approval to a company, um, always just say, you know, I will make it public once payment is received because you're proving to them that you already did all the work. If you're submitting your unlisted link to them to your video, you're proving, hey, I did all of the work. It's right in front of your face. I'm just waiting for you to pay me so that I can publish this and you can get your end of the deal. You know what I mean? But there was once a time when a company emailed me about trying, I'm not going to disclose the brand or anything like that, but they wanted me to try one of those teas where like it's detoxifying and you, it helps you lose weight and all of that stuff. And they wanted to do that for me and they wanted to pay me $1,500 to make one video reviewing the tea. And I said, okay, send it to me. I'll try it out for 30 to 60 days and I'll do a review video on it. You know, like, guys, $1,500.
would you give it a chance? Would you try it out? Would you do it? Would you do that? If someone said, hey, try this out, just, just try it out, risk-free, try it out. If you like it, here's $1,500 to tell us how you feel. Like, yeah, obviously some YouTubers are gonna lie and say, yeah, I loved it, when really they didn't, because $1,500, lot of money for some people. To me, that's a lot of money. Like, that's over two months worth of paychecks from YouTube. Like, that's a chunk of money for me. But that company, after I emailed them and said, oh yeah, sure, I'd love to, uh, they got back to me and said, oh sorry, our stock got delayed and it's on back order right now. When we get more in, we'll ship it to you as soon as possible. I was like, okay, cool, no rush. Don't worry, it's okay. I'm understanding. And, um, then I emailed them like a week later and I was like, hey, just getting an update, seeing what, what page we're on. Like, are we on the same page here? What are you thinking? What are your thoughts? Where's the product? Like, how, do you have any updates yet? I never got a response. So a couple weeks went late, went by again and I messaged them again and I didn't get a response. And then I messaged them like a month or two later. I'm like, hey, is this happening or not? And then I never got a response again. So it's like, that obviously the company was a scam and if they messaged me back tomorrow saying hey we got our shipment do you want to try our product uh no you guys made me wait over two years that is not good customer service regardless if i am a youtuber creator collaborator, promoter ambassador person or not that's not okay and i don't want to work with you <laughs> Okay, this is a pretty good question. I kind of answered this a little bit, but I'll go into a little bit more detail. Do unpaid cooperations just send you stuff to your P.O. box and hope that you review it? Or do you get to pick out the products for free, but there is no compensation for reviewing the product? I don't think I've ever gotten product in my P.O. box without you know, an explanation or anything like that. I don't think I've just willy-nilly gotten a product in my P.O. box. Um, Ever. I think the company always has messaged me first and says, hey, would you like to try this out? Can we have your shipping address? And if they say, hey, do you want to try this? Can we have our shipping address? Sure. Great. Cool. But they don't say in there, we'd love for you to do a video on this. We'd love for you to feature this on your Instagram. Nothing. They would just say, hey, we're a new up and coming nail polish brand. Would you like to try out a couple of our shades at no cost? We just need your address. Like, sure, I'm not committing to having to make a video. If it's good, will I mention it in a video? Yeah. Will I mention it on my Snapchat story? Yeah. Am I getting paid for it? No. Is it a good product and I just want to feature it just because? Yeah. You know, like, I don't know. It's just one of those things that for me, the, um, I they always let me pick out what items I want. Like, a lot of the times they'll let me pick what color of something I want or what products, like if it's from Dresslink or Yoins or AMI Club where they basically give me a budget and say, go pick whatever you want, etc. But you know, a lot of people will say like, oh, you're just doing it to get free product. No, the company is doing it to get free promotion and free advertisement because if I'm reviewing or promoting clothing and they're not paying me a single penny, they are sending me items as compensation. So they're sending me items, their payment to me is the free product they're sending me. My payment to them is promoting. So it's a two-way street. I'm not doing it just for free product because I have to take the time and effort and everything to put into advertising and promoting this product for this company. It's not just free. Nothing is by any means free 100%. I hope that answers some of your guys' questions, all of your guys' questions. I'm not exactly sure. I'm sorry this video was insanely long. I just went through a whole battery and I had to delete my memory card content like three times because I kept filling up my card um, <laughs> because I was talking so much. But like I said, I hope this was informative. I hope it gives you guys kind of an insight on what goes into sponsorships and why YouTubers do them and everything like that. And you have to keep in mind that most YouTubers do sponsorships all the time because that is their job. Like 
promoting products and advertising and marketing is their job. They're getting paid to do it. They have to pay taxes just like everybody else who has a steady normal job. You guys know I just took up a part-time job a few months ago and YouTube is not my main source of income but for a little while you guys saw sponsorship videos like crazy on my channel all the time and that was because YouTube revenue itself was dropping excessively like really bad YouTube was in a huge rut and they've finally gotten out of it so a lot of youtubers are finally like regaining the revenue and making the normal amount of revenue that they were before this huge little hiccup that youtube had and youtube is now fixing everything and getting everything back together so youtubers aren't having to rely on sponsorships as much but um i have gotten my sponsorships down to probably one every two to three months or so like I don't do sponsorship videos as much as it appears that I do because the ones that you guys are seeing that you are claiming are sponsored videos are actually just unpaid cooperations. So unpaid product reviews. But honestly, I just want you guys to be reassured 100% whether I am getting paid $0, whether I paid for the product myself and I'm getting paid $0, whether I am getting paid a grand to make the video, Please, I can rest assure you 1000% everything from the moment my channel was started up until now and all the way into the future, you can rest assured that my channel is 100,000% honest and I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to work with a company for an extra few dollars, whether it be a grand or five grand or whatever the huge numerous amounts of money may consist of. It's not worth it to me because I'm not going to just sit there and lie to you and say this is great when it sucks and waste all of your guys' money because you heard oh it was great and then you went to go try it and it sucked. But like I said before keep in mind products work for people different ways and everyone has different experiences. Even if I were to place my very own order on a website and it goes very very smoothly and someone comes along and places a different order on the exact same website and they have horrible customer service, they sent them the wrong size, but I had a flawless interaction, has nothing to do with me promoting the company, has nothing to do with me being a creator, has nothing to do with them even knowing who I am, just willy-nilly person placing an order on a site. Keep in mind that experiences are going to differentiate between people. Uh, one person may be having a very successful, positive experience, whereas someone, you know, their experience could have been a living hell and they will never support or give uh, give positivity to that brand. Please know that I 100% speak from my own experiences. I intentionally do not look at other people's reviews of products. I intentionally do not Google reviews. I want to have my experience and my opinion reflected on myself and what I've gone through to get that product and what I've gone through with that product. I'm not going to let anyone else's opinions and anything like that reflect how I feel about something. And with that being said, I'm gonna wrap up this video. Please let me know in the comments down below if this was informative and if it helped you. And if you are new to my channel, feel free to, feel free to subscribe for 100% true, honest reviews and content and everything like that. If you watched this video all the way to the end, I don't know why my voice went so high bitch. If you watched this video all the way to the end, comment the secret word in the comment section down below so I know that you are a supporter and you watch me blab and you listen to what I have to say all the way through. Comment the secret word spaghetti. Random. I don't know why I picked that word but spaghetti. Spaghetti is going to be the random word so if you made it to the end of this video comment spaghetti in the comment section down below and with that being said like I said a bajillion times before I will talk to you all next time so until then so long, stay strong, stay true, and be you. All right.